Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this mushroom jewelry holder ring dish. It's super cute and it only took me about an hour and a half to make so it's a pretty quick project and it's pretty simple. These are the stitches you will need to know and the terms and I hope you enjoy this video and if you recreate this make sure you tag me on Instagram and I'll be sure to shout you out. So with that being said, let's get started. The supplies you will need are scissors, a 4mm crochet hook, stitch marker, and a darning needle, along with cream, red, green, and white yarn in medium weight. And now we're moving on to making the tray. We're first going to start off with a magic circle, holding it in the front like this and crossing it into an X, holding it down with your other finger. and. You're going to get your hook and weave it under the first one and then pick up the second yarn, pull it around and then chain one. And then I'm going to untangle it and then do the second chain. And now we're going to do 12 double crochet stitches into this magic circle all the way around. So you yarn over, pull up a loop. Pull through the first two loops, and then pull through the last two. We're going to repeat this for our 12 stitches. And now we're finished with that, you can untangle the magic ring string, and then pull it tight. Now moving on to round two, we're going to slip stitch into the first chain two space. Pull up a loop and pull through the loop that's already on your hook. Now we're going to chain two and then do two double crochets in each of the stitches and you will end up with a total of 24 stitches. I'm going to show you the first one, yarn over, go into the first stitch, pull up a loop, pull through the first two and then pull through the second. And now we're doing our second stitch into that same stitch from before. And I'm adding on a stitch marker right here, which is optional. It could be helpful if you need it. And the third and fourth stitch will go into the same stitch from the row before. And you will end up with a total of 24 stitches. And now finishing off, we will again be slip stitching to close up the round. Take off your stitch marker if you put it on and into that chain 2 space we're going to do our slip stitch. Pull up the loop, pull through the loop that's on the hook and again we are going to be chaining 2 to start. We're going to do 2 double crochets into the first stitch from the row before. First one and then the second one in the same stitch. And then we're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch. Now we're going to repeat this for the rest of the round. Two double crochets in the first stitch and then one double crochet in the next and you'll end up with a total of 36 stitches. Now on to round four we're going to slip stitch to close off the loop And then we are going to chain two. And now we're going to do two double crochets in the first stitch. And then one double crochet into the next two stitches. And we're going to repeat that for the whole round. Two double crochet, one double crochet in the next two. And then continue this for the whole round. We'll have a total of 48 stitches at the end. And now on to round 5, we are going to slip stitch again to start off the round. So we're going to chain 2 here and into the first stitch we are going to put 2 double crochets. And then in the next 3 stitches we're going to do 1 double crochet in each and then repeat that pattern 
for a total of 60 stitches. Here I'm doing my first one and second stitch right here and then into the next three I'm going to do one double crochet and then that will be five stitches and continue this all the way around round five. Now we are on to round six and again we're going to be slip stitching to finish it off and now we're going to be working up. So this time it's a little bit different. We're starting with the chain two and now we're going to put one double crochet into each stitch of the round but we're only going to be doing it into the front loop. So I'm going to show you a little bit closer. I'm going to go into the front loop only. And then finish off your double crochet, pull up a loop, pull through, and pull through again. And I'll show you one more time. Go into just the front loop, and then finish your normal double crochet, just like this. Now we are on the two last stitches of this round, and you can see how it's kind of forming a dish shape now. So in the second to last stitch, we're going to be doing a normal double crochet. And now for the last stitch, we're going to be switching colors. This is optional. If you don't want to do this, you can just continue on with the cream color or whatever color your tray is. So here we're going to be doing a double crochet. And we're going to stop right before we pull through the final two loops and we're going to drop our cream color yarn in front and then put our green color yarn in front. And here we're going to just pull through to finish off this last stitch. And then now we're going to continue on with using the green and we're going to slip stitch to start off this round and then only chain one this time. And I am going to snip off the cream yarn now. And now we're going to be single crocheting into each stitch. I'm going to be bringing these yarns in front and then weaving them in as I go. And I'm going to show you how I do it. So first I put the two extra yarns kind of on top of my hook. Go into the first stitch. Pull up a loop and make sure it goes under those two extra yarns and then pull through, finishing off a normal single crochet. I'll show you this one more time. Go into the first stitch, pull up a loop and then pull through to finish a single crochet and we're going to just do this all the way around, weaving this in as I go. I'm going to finish my last stitch and then we will slip stitch to finish off the round. And I will cut off my green yarn here. Here I'm fastening off my green yarn by pulling through the final loop, pulling it tight, and then now I'm going to weave in that green end. I'm going to be weaving it in in this up and down pattern for the first couple of stitches and then I'm going to weave it diagonally through the single crochet stitches. I weaved it in through about five stitches and then pulled it tight and then cut it off. Now I'm going to weave in the bottom of the tray, the cream yarn, and I'm going to pull it up through the top and then weave it around this first round of the magic circle. Once I think it's pretty secure enough, I'm gonna snip it off and we are done with the bottom of our jewelry holder or little ring dish. Here's a final look at it. The top, the sides, the bottom. Now on to making the mushroom. We're gonna start again with the magic circle. So you're gonna be using the cream color yarn again for this. This is how I hold my yarn while I make the magic circle. Again, we're making an X shape with the yarn on the back of the X. We're going to chain one this time.
and then do six single crochet stitches into the magic circle. Now that you have that finished, you can pull your magic circle tight. You will need your stitch marker now. You will go into the first stitch and then do a slip stitch like before. And then you will chain one and then do two single crochets in each of the stitches, which will end in a total of 12 stitches. Now for rounds 3 to 8, we're going to repeat this pattern, so slip stitch in the first stitch, chain 1, and then do 1 single crochet stitch into each one, so a total will be 12 stitches in each round. We're going to do this for round 3 to 8. Make sure you keep using your stitch marker to count, and I'll meet you back when we're done. Now we are on round 9, we're going to slip stitch and then chain 1. Now we're going to be working out, so we're going to be working in the outer loop of each stitch, so you may also call it the back loop. We're going to do 2 single crochet in each back stitch. You will have a total of 24 stitches at the end. Now on to round 10, we're going to slip stitch to start and then chain 1. Then we're going to do an increase in the first stitch with 2 single crochets in that stitch. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. And that will be the pattern all the way around. And you will end with a total of 36 stitches. So two single crochet in the first stitch, and then one single crochet in the next, and then continue that for the whole round. Now we will be switching our yarn to the red color yarn. So we're going to drop the white yarn in the front and then put the red yarn also in the front. Hold them together and then we're going to pick up a loop to finish the slip stitch. And now we are on round 11. We just switched colors and did our slip stitch and we're going to chain one and do a single crochet in each stitch. I think in my video I accidentally forgot to slip stitch, so maybe that is why it looks a little off for mine, but... We are gonna cut off the cream yarn and then weave it in as we go. So doing the single crochets and then weaving it in like I showed you how to do for the green yarn as well. And now we are done with round 11 and we are going to slip stitch to finish chain one and then we're gonna do decreases now so we're gonna decrease in the first two stitches and then do one normal single crochet and repeat that pattern so here i'm showing you i'm going to be decreasing i think this is called an invisible decrease so where you go on the outer loops only you go into the first loop and then you go into the next loop You have three loops on your hook now and you pull through the first two and then you pull through the last two. It might be a little tight but you can do it. I believe in you. And one normal single crochet in the next stitch. 
And then we're gonna do a decrease again. So pick up the first loop and then pick up the next loop. And then pull through those first two and then pull through again. One more normal single crochet and then we're gonna repeat this. Now is a good time for you to stuff your mushroom. I'm using scrap yarn, but you can also use polyfill. So now we're on to round 13. We're gonna slip stitch to start, and then we're gonna chain one to increase, and then we're going to do decreases in all the stitches so like every two stitches you will decrease and then you have a total of 12 stitches at the end make sure you use your stitch marker to help you count this and it gets pretty tight up here i took out the stuffing so you can see a little better but we're going to decrease in every single two stitches all the way around Here I'm restuffing the yarn that I just took out. And now we're on round 14, we're gonna slip stitch again. And then chain one. And then we're gonna decrease in each stitch all the way around and you will have a total of six stitches. It will get pretty tight up here, but you can do it. Okay, and now we are going to finish off the mushroom. We're going to take out the stitch marker and then fasten off. We're going to cut off the yarn from the ball and then we're going to pull through. And now we are going to weave this in. So we're going to thread the yarn onto the needle and then weave around in a circle for those last six stitches. Now we're going to stick the needle through the bottom of the mushroom through the center of the magic circle. And then we're going to snip off the red yarn. And if it's sticking out, you can use your needle and then push it back in. And now we're going to be making the dots for our mushroom. So I'm going to be using this white yarn I have, but you could also use the cream yarn if you still have that. We are going to be starting with a magic circle. Chain one and then do four single crochet into the magic circle. It's pretty simple to do. Pull it tight and then slip stitch. And then you can cut your string from the ball and pull it through. And we're gonna make three of these in total, or you can do more or less depending on how many spots you want on your mushroom. Now we're going to be sewing on our spots. So we're going to take the middle yarn, the one where we started the magic circle with, thread it through the needle, and then pick where you want it to be, and then poke it through the bottom. And then pull it all the way through tight. And again, this is the one where you started the magic circle with, so the one that's in the center, not the one where you ended off with. And now you take the string where you ended off with, and you're going to just weave it into the top of the mushroom. You can just pick up a little bit of the red yarn and then go through. It just takes a little um, trial and error, and as long as it's pretty secure, you'll be good. Just do this all the way around the spot and then poke it through the bottom again. 
And then with these two strings hanging out that you just weaved in, you can trim off. But don't trim off the one that's attached to the mushroom yet. And then we're going to repeat this for the other two spots. Now you're going to sew the mushroom onto the tray. And this is the string that we were saving from earlier. You can sew it wherever you want, but I'm going to do it in the center. So I'm going to poke it through, through the center magic ring start of the dish. And then I'm going to weave it up and down through. You can see what I'm doing here. Poking a little through the mushroom and then going back down the tray and all the way around. And then at the end you can tie a little knot to make sure it's more secure. And then weave this end through the mushroom on the side. Just poke it out and then you can trim it off. And you are finished with your crochet mushroom jewelry holder ring dish tray, whatever you want to call it. It's really cute, works really fast. And if you recreate this, make sure you tag me on Instagram. I would love to see.